Welcome to Bringing Classy Back. Today we're going to talk about wine glasses and the right way to handle them and to drink from them. Okay, let's start with champagne. We have the champagne glass, we have the white wine glass, and then of course the red wine. You always, always, always want to hold your glass by the stem, never by the bowl. And I will tell you why. When you hold it by the bowl, your hand naturally warms the wine, or worse, it naturally warms the champagne. And just do not want to have hot wine or champagne. So you always want to hold, even though it feels natural to hold it like this, you always want to hold your wine like this. And it is not okay to hold your wine like this. That is not okay. Hold your wine by the stem, that is why it is there, and drink it like this. Now, ladies, let me give you a tiny little hint that I learned a long time ago. Just very discreetly, you want to very discreetly lick the corner of the glass that you're going to be drinking from before your lipstick touches it. That helps for the lipstick to not stick to the glass. I find it so tacky to see lipstick on the rim of a glass from when you're not drinking it and you're holding it to see a big old thing of lipstick. So just very discreetly lick your lick right before you're going to drink. That will give a shield in between your lipstick and the glass. That's a tiny little hint for you. Red wine, you want to only pour to about the bottom quarter of the glass. Why is that? Why do you see that most people only pour to the bottom of the glass? That is to allow the red wine to breathe. Now, another thing when you're drinking red wine, you want to hold it by the bottom of the stem, just like this, place it on your table, and just very gently move it in circular motion. You don't want to do this at the table. All you want to do is just hold that and just very gently move it in little circular motion. That just gets the wine stirring and it breathes it, it opens it up and it gives it a better taste. Now with white wine, the same exact thing applies. You can very gently move it around and swirl it open, um, but you don't want to fill it up to the top. You want to just kind of take it halfway. You'll find that drinking white wine from, from the bottom to the half mark is the perfect amount to pour. You don't want to give somebody a full rim of white wine. That's just way too much. Uh, you always want to just stop it at the halfway mark. Champagne is one of the only drinks that you can pour all the way to the rim. Now, be careful though because remember that champagne is fizzy. So you want to leave enough room for it maybe to hear, for it to fizz and not pour over. But champagne also has to be held by the stem and you can fill that up to about that point. Now I hope these were helpful hints for you today on how to hold your wine glass and a little tiny bit of etiquette in how to drink and pour your wine. For more information on bringing Classy back, check out our YouTube channel. Also go to mysparklelifting.com and press on bringing Classy back.